Which of the following statements about the real matrix shown above is false? We're given um, a five by five matrix with uh, you know clearly some kind of pattern uh, in it. Okay, which of the following is false? A is invertible. Uh, no, I'm I, just by looking at it, I'm pretty sure A is A is invertible. I mean, it's in some kind of proper echelon form or something like that, and there's no rows of zeros. If X is in R to five and A X equals X, then X equals zero. So that is also correct because A is invertible. That's a true statement. The last row of A squared is 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 5. Well, we can just work that out. Um, if I just try and do that multiplication in my head for the last row. Uh, no, that's a, that's a true statement. The last row of A squared is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 25. Uh, option D, A can be transformed into the 5 by 5 identity matrix by a sequence of elementary row operations. Well, that's also true because A is invertible. And finally, we have that the determinant of A is 120. Well, that's true as well, isn't it? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, option B is clearly false. Well, I don't, I don't mean clearly. I mean, the other, the other four are correct. Uh, I was, I was mistaken for some reason when I read A X is equal to X. I was thinking, I was thinking A X is equal to zero. Um, yeah, I was thinking A X equals zero, of course, implies that X equals zero. But A X equal X does not imply that X equals zero. Um, but this one's been done by the process of elimination. The other four options, you know, A is invertible because of the form that it's in. We can see that by inspection. Um, A squared is equal to something. I don't know, but if you just sort of visualize how the matrix multiplication works in your head, put the blocks next to each other and do, you know, that, it's clear that that's going to be the last row. Um, because A is invertible, it can be transformed into the five by five identity. So that's fine. And again, because of the way that this matrix is written, the determinant is just going to be the product of the diagonal elements. So I'm pretty sure that is the case. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's true uh, when you have the lower di the lower triangle all zeros I think the determinant is just the product of the diagonal elements yeah so the determinant of A is just going to be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. Um, I mean, sure, 24 times 5, yeah. Uh, so, like I said, um, the correct answer here is B, by the process of elimination. Um, and is, is it also true that when I have a matrix written in this form, that the diagonals are eigenvalues? We can probably, buy, we can probably find a non-zero vector X that satisfies this. By, we might be able to do that just by inspection. What if X is just equal to this? Yeah, in fact, this implies that AX is equal to X. So there we go. We have a non-zero X, which satisfies this. 
Uh, so option B is false. Well, statement B is false, meaning option B is the correct answer to this question. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's much more to say about this one. Uh, little slip up myself when I, I kind of misread that equation. For some reason, my instinct went to AX equals zero, not AX equals X. Um, that's why you take your time on questions like this. Thanks for watching.